why don't I do a wee vlog where I talk you through all of my holiday outfits? I know my fashion. Yeah, like a loose, like a linen white shirt or something like really oversized, mm. maybe. Oh. I saw red and I was like that town. Baby. The A6 gel Kayano sneakers. Come in I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna do the wee vlog thing. All right, welcome back to my channel. My channel. Welcome back to my channel. Name is Holly Mercedes. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Today's vlog, or it's not really a vlog, this is a video. I'm gonna talk you through my holiday looks, okay? Sounds boring, it's not gonna be boring. Here. We're heading home today and it's quite grey. I was going to sunbathe all day but now I'm like, it's actually quite cold. Like even in a t-shirt I'm like, oh, it's chilly. So I thought, why don't I do a wee vlog where I talk you through all of my holiday outfits? Let's go back to my camper roll. I'll show you my airport fit first. So I'm wearing these oversized jeans from Ray, just a black vest and Suzanne cardigan and then this mini scarf that I got from H&M in the sale. It was like three euros, like two days before I left. That was my kind of comfy airport fit. The jeans and the cardigan I really wanted to pack because it's not been that hot here and they were my biggest items. So that's why I wore them to travel in. And then on the very first day, I went for like neutral tones. I wore these new oversized like linen pants they're from monkey and i sized up i think i took an extra large just so i could wear them low-waisted and also because i'm quite tall i wanted them to be long enough so that's a wee tip for me size up if you get them um and then the vest is from massimo duty i really like the fit and the high neck of the vest and then again i wore the cardigan because the weather was not that good on the first day i also managed to get my chanel sandals out for the first time this year they gave me blisters but you know the drill and the bag that i've actually used all holiday is from arquette I got it about a month ago and I've also been using it in Amsterdam as well for like just an everyday bag, putting my gym kit in and all that kind of thing. The sunglasses that I'm wearing here as well, they are called, what are they called again? They're from Saint Laurent, they're like Mickey or something. I'm gonna link them in the bio. Then that evening I actually wore two outfits. The first one is this pink satin skirt, which is from From Future. And I also wore that skirt quite low waisted and it was the same tank top that I was wearing during the day with the same cardigan. The sandals were a collaboration between Birkenstock and Proenza. I found them in a, like a multi-brand store in Copenhagen for like 70% off and it was a few seasons after they were released. I loved them when they were first released but I didn't buy them because they were quite expensive so I was very happy to find them. They had one pair left in my size. It's meant to be, isn't it? Then I got changed and I'm wearing this maxi skirt from Cost. I just love the volume. Like it's it's such a cool maxi skirt. I paired it with this Gani sleeveless knit. I think this is just a perfect little summer knit piece. And again with the Proenza Birkenstock and my Bottega Jodie bag, which is in the size is teen and the colour is porridge. I love this outfit. I feel like it was very comfy, but like hidden. Sometimes I feel a bit uncomfortable showing too much skin so that one was a nice first day especially before you've got a tan then moving on to the next day i wore these um are they linen like linen drawstring stripy trousers from arquette in black and white they're just like a pajama bottom but for day to daytime wear and with them i wore the haviana flip-flops and like a yellowy kind of orange color and the little knitted waistcoat is from Zara. I got it last week. And then for accessories, I was wearing this Marnie necklace, which is from the Outnet. And the sunglasses are from Vela. And again, it's that Arquette bag that I can just throw everything in. I use it every day on holiday. The bikini that I'm wearing here is from Butter and Hazel, but it's a few seasons old. I think I got it last summer. And you can also see that my hair gets progressively lighter through the holiday. And maybe here it doesn't look that light, but colors definitely changed like a lot. Do you want me to give you a verdict? done any of them. Oh, really? Do you? Should we do a few of your outfits as well? Oh, I. Okay. Now? Nah, I've not written the door there, by the way. Did we? Yeah, they're cleaner. All right. Right, am I in the camera? Oh, I have to lean over. So, we're on to this look. Okay. Showing a bit of belly button there. 
the, the photo is going to be here. So the cardigan is from Arquette and it's current season. The skirt is a few seasons old from Ganny X Levi's. It's collaboration. I, like, I love that one. Do you know what I love about that? The button detail. I love the button detail. You know the V. I love the effort you're putting in. So this I know my fashion. Yeah, the good thing about that, um, the fly bit, is you can either wear it tight or loose. So if you want to wear it a bit higher waisted, you can put it on the tighter one. Or if you want to wear it low waisted, you put it on the looser. You know? Genius. I also paired this with the like tie-dye Chanel sandals. Obsessed with them, but they just shred up my feet every time I wear them. No pain, no gain. And the Chanel Classic Flap bag. So... Not really sure if I like the bag. <laughs> Loved this outfit. Felt like it was very comfortable. Felt like it was quite, still quite sassy with the wee belly button popping out. <laughs> so, oh yeah, the sunglasses are new in from Sinagoya and I felt like the pop of dark green just added to the whole green look. Love them. I love them. That was the night that we ended up going out and I can't... Out, out. Out, out. And we were in some weird nightclub and I was in that nightclub wearing those sandals and that bag. I woke up the next morning with heart palpitations thinking like the bag was scratched or the sandals were all stained. Humble. But that's not bad. It shows I protect my stuff. Like I usually wouldn't go to a club wearing like those shoes because if they get, if, imagine they got a cocktail spilt on them like game over. That would be game over in the bag. I didn't even take my makeup off that night, but when I went to check my bag, I'd already put it double dust bagged in the cover. <laughs> and the shoes, I'd undone all the straps to let them like air. How long are we doing on each uh, outfit? Yeah, you know, just taking our time. Next outfit, hung over by the pool, wearing my Scotland cap, hiding from the world. But actually later on that day, I did go for a walk along the rocks and I was wearing this white flowy dress from H&M. I also got that in the sale like super cheap. It was like four pounds or something, but quite a long time ago. And I put over the top that little monkey top with the ties. So I wore that together with some white socks and the A6 Gel Cayano 19. Scott has the same pair, but he didn't pack them on this trip. I packed light, baby. 10 kilo. No, it wasn't. It was actually 15. So. It was actually 12. <laughs> okay. Why did you lie then? <laughs> I don't know. I'll be 10 kilo going back. And this was Scott's outfit for the night? Fire. Fire. Actually, fire for a hungover uh, fit. fit. So the trousers are mine. They're from Source Unknown. I packed them because they're like... They're Do you not know where they're from then? Ding! I packed them because they're like the perfect summer loose low-waisted cargo pants and then I put them on and they don't fit me anymore. So since last summer they were so tight around my bum so I was like Scott do you want to wear them and... Fit me like a glove. So Scott put them on with uh, this Olaf t-shirt which is also mine. I quite like the way that the t-shirt is quite cropped and boxy and then he's also styled it with the Ganny bag which is it's also mine. Not anymore. Oh my god, I had another outfit change this day. Shock. How did I manage to do that when I was that hungover? Anyway, I'm wearing those oversized jeans from Ray. You know what happened with those jeans? I, wa I put them in the washing machine and then they came out. You know that way that black jeans go like grey liney? So then I got, well Scott got a bottle, not a bottle, like a washing machine black dye. And we put them in the washing machine and dyed them. They did come out a bit more black, but they shrunk. So they used to be... What was that? A hiccup. So they used to be like scuffing the floor and now they're like not. So I'm a bit annoyed about that anyway, whatever. The vest I think is from H&M and that amazing shirt is from Alamez. Love the shirt. Yeah, it's a good one. Love the denim too. <clears throat> Love the bag, good fit. Good fit and the bag is, the wee bag is from Suzanne. So moving on to the next day. These are just some pictures of Scott wearing the top from my Dams and Madder edit. The top's actually sold out, but I'm going to link the full edit in the description anyway so you can shop the other bits. Okay, so is this the next evening? I didn't really, I didn't really shoot an outfit that day. I think I was just um, wearing a bikini and lying by the pool all day. Well, trying to hide my own. <laughs> And that evening I went for full blue, so I wore the sparkly trousers from Stina Goya and then this top from Acne Studios. 
I bought the top at the Acne Archive store when I was last in Copenhagen and then I paired it with the Proenza Birkenstock sandals and the Bottega bag again. This was maybe my favourite outfit that I wore because it was so comfy but like looked cool with of, it. Of the whole holiday? I don't know, maybe yeah. Really? Jazzy, I love those sequin trousers and I don't really think you get that many opportunities to wear them. Well I could, I could just wear them whenever I couldn't. Here are some flash photos I took with that outfit as well. What, are you going to show them every photo? No, just some, the good ones. Hobby. Are you going to show them what you've googled? <laughs> no. <laughs> then the next day I wore the honeymoon bikini from Wild Lovers and it kind of has like a little flowery print. I wore it with a shirt over the top and my rotate cap. That evening we patrolled around the hotel and we shot a little video Wes Anderson style. So on my TikTok if you want to see it. But I was wearing another piece from the Dams and Matter edits, this pink dress. What sunglasses are they? That's the Vela sunglasses again. And then Scott was wearing this Jacquemus t-shirt and... <clears throat> that I bought you. Yeah, Scott got me it for for Christmas two a year ago. Never worn it. No, two years ago. No, two wore years it ago. Not one time. What, no, no, I wore. I did wear it once. Did you? Yeah. But what, the, the day that you got it. No, I wore it one time. The fit on me is just not good. You know when something's just like a just like a really basic t-shirt. Like this t-shirt has a great fit. This is Uniqlo U and it has like high neck, like long sleeves, super baggy, boxy. This one is like it's just a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. With a logo on it. I love the colour, I love the logo obviously, but like the fit is not the one for me. But on Scott it looks quite good, so Scott wore it, paired with another it's funny hand- how I make everything look better. <laughs> paired with another hand-me-down from me, these weekday shorts. Um, they're really baggy and like low waist on him, I think they look really cool. Is that the same night? Because mm -hmm. I just took a shirt on top of it. Oh yeah, so the same outfit. night. I changed into the low heavy jeans and to be honest I didn't like this outfit. I'm actually struggling to style these jeans because I feel like this outfit's giving Love Island and that's not the vibe that I want to. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. How? I don't know, it's just like the logo. The logo's a bit in your face and then the tight top, the belly showing, the flip flops, it just for me it wasn't working. Mm. Needs to pair it with something more funky or oversized or like, I don't know, I just, I didn't, You can work on that. Needs work. Yeah. It was actually, well, no, I've worn them twice. The first time I wore those jeans, I also didn't really love the outfit. Yeah, I think maybe a different uh, shirt. Like, I actually like what you're wearing and I think the denim, they look great on it too, but maybe a baggier t-shirt or maybe a shirt with a jacket or whatever. Baggy, baggy shirt and a jacket. Yeah, or like a loose, like a linen white shirt or something like really oversized mm. maybe. Oh. Okay, so this was Monday, we're now on Wednesday, so we're nearly there. Oh yeah, so this one's cute. This is the colourful knitted dress from Steel. I got it last year, maybe a year and a half ago, but it's still online, so I'm gonna link it. And I paired it again just with my flip-flops and then the bikini underneath is from Arquette. Also bought it the day before we left. I went on that like panic shopping trip because basically, obviously we're doing the, be the bathroom renovation and they're using our storage room for all their bits. So I couldn't get into like my summer box. Scott told me there's no chance that I'm gonna get to that box. So then obviously I saw red and I was like that town need to go shopping, must buy new stuff. That toxic mindset that I have sometimes and I just went into just went to the shops and I was like need 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 buy buy buy. A few things are went back into my suitcase with the tag still and I didn't wear them. So I'm probably gonna return some bits when we go back. And the wee bag that I wore with that outfit is from Suzanne as well. What did Scott wear this day? So this t-shirt, I actually didn't wear that myself. I think you did. You've worn that. I didn't. It's from Anna Nina and I think I got a size extra large. It's very oversized already. It's a really cute t-shirt with like a, a spiky sun and it says sunshine. And he's wearing it with his Levi shorts. Had them a few, yeah, haven't I? Yeah. So that brings us to, was that last night? What was that last night? I'm a bit bored, can I? Yeah. Get out of here. Ciao, bye. That brings us to last night where I wore this maxi skirt from Dagmar in like an olive colour. I paired it with this Jacquemus shirt which I got so discounted in the sale a few years ago. Like it was like 80% off. I think it was one of those one of those ones that shouldn't have been so discounted. It was like the end of sale and there was one piece left. I think it was probably like, you know when somebody returns something after it's been heavily discounted. So I think I got it 
not by accident but like it was a return and yeah i think i paid like i uh, don't know 100 euros for it or something they had like an extra 20 percent off as well and it's one of my favorite items in my wardrobe anyway i wore it with that and then the black chanel sandals with the bottega bag and the Saint Laurent sunglasses and that's it and then today i am wearing this white t-shirt which is from uniqlo u i have on the a6 gel kayano sneakers and then these lululemon align shorts and then under i'm just wearing a red bikini which I, i've had for years i don't even know where it's from it has no labels on it and i think we're gonna go i don't even know if i can sit by the pool because it is quite cold look at the weather We need to check out, I think, in about 40 minutes. So I'm just going to finish packing my case and then we're going to chill for the day. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video and I'm going to do my best to link everything that I can in the bio. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already.